I am back at my parents for another episode of the Garage Declutter and today's video is very special because we were finally able to do something that I personally never saw coming, especially this soon. And it's what a lot of you guys were commenting on in the other videos that you were hoping to see and I'm so happy to announce that it is finally happening but before we get started make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on future episodes of me decluttering my parents hoarder garage i do not think you guys are ready for this i wasn't <laughs> If you guys have seen my other videos, you know that there is an old classic car sitting in the garage and this day some miracle happened where it finally got taken out of the garage. In the other videos, I have not been able to show you the inside of the car because of all the stuff around it, but the stuff was pushed off to the side and now you can see that there was stuff in there. I can't even remember the last time I was able to see what was in the car, let alone opening the door and actually being able to access the stuff in the car. After a nice, deep, thorough cleaning, she looks just brand new now. This car has been in the garage since my parents bought this house, which was over 20 years ago, I think 21 or 22 to be exact. This is the first time that it's ever been pulled out ever since that it was placed in there. For so many years, I had always told my dad that, you know, why do we have this car? Why don't we just get rid of it? It doesn't work anymore. And he was very certain that the car does work and that he still wanted to keep it. And to my surprise, after sitting there for over 20 years, it came out and they were able to start it and move it, except for one of the tires is flat, but other than that it runs pretty well so yeah that's the story behind this classic car right here so you might be wondering what does the garage look like now a mess so if you guys remember in the last video we worked on this entire left side and this stuff here in the middle these bins and boxes were leaning against the car and then this stuff on the right side is everything that was around and some of the stuff I think was inside the car but mainly this was what was around the car. So yeah, lots of stuff. I am so surprised at how much stuff there's actually in there with the car that was in there as well. On this side right here, there are three dishwashers or washer machines I believe but these were not in here these were just put in here the other day because my dad wants to recycle these I think or sell them I'm not sure but the rest of this stuff back here was in here when the car was in here so as you can see it just goes on forever until the back and in that far right corner right there there's a doorknob that's a door that door leads to the side of the garage and we also have not opened that in over 20 years. So we definitely want to make this space more organized, decluttered, so we can actually have room for all this stuff and also be able to access that door because it'd be nice to finally open it after so many years. So here is just an overview of everything and what the garage currently looks like. So a little update on the last video if you guys want to see how this looks like now. 
after the garage sale and a little bit of decluttering that we did last time the space looks so much better again it still needs to be organized we were able to get rid of a lot of the stuff that we don't want so now it's more of like we need to organize this all better a lot of you guys commented in that last video that i should get some shelving unit so that i can put all the water the drinks the detergent and all that stuff in one section so i'm thinking maybe back there yes that is a great idea and i'd love to see that in the garage but right now i think we need to focus first on trying to just get all of this situated and worked out so we got a lot of work to do I think something that doesn't get often talked about when decluttering is to be careful. <laughs> like you just saw, this box fell on top of my foot, but luckily it wasn't heavy or anything like that. So yeah, just remember to be careful where you're stepping, what you're grabbing when you are decluttering. You don't want to hurt yourself. I know I say this every time in my hoarder garage declutter videos, but it was very overwhelming to get started with this garage today because with the car out, I feel like it looks worse than when it had the car inside. So there's just so much stuff everywhere. It is now all over the place. And today we're going to do as best as we can to see what we can find that needs to get out of the garage first of all and then maybe see how far we can get through because it is a lot of stuff. Just like in my last video, I had the help of my brother and my dad this time once again, which makes a world of a difference. Obviously, when you're dealing with this kind of extreme clutter, the more hands, the better. Especially when I find things like furniture or Anything that's heavy that I can't lift on my own, it's always helpful to have someone else help me move stuff around. A viewer had suggested in one of the Hoarder Garage Declutter videos to record the decision making process and I completely understand why that makes sense. but. When I was doing this video, it's kind of hard to record that just because a lot of the stuff in this garage is junk. About 90% of it is junk, so that's kind of what we're basically pulling out onto the driveway and on the front yard. When I share videos decluttering my own things and my space, I do share with you the decision-making process on why I'm keeping things and why I'm letting it go, but in this case, it really is just a lot of the stuff that we either don't know where it came from, that is no longer usable, that is broken, or things like that that we know for a fact that we do not want in this garage taking up space. Towards the end of the video, you will see everything that is laid out that we are taking to the landfill because all of that is no longer usable or in good condition and definitely cannot be donated so that's where all that stuff is going to go and then as far as the things that we're keeping it's more of so things that we can see ourselves using or maybe it's more sentimental items that we still want to hang on to as i've been doing these garage declutter videos i have noticed that my dad isn't as hesitant or resistant to letting things go and I think that just comes naturally over time when you're decluttering things. It's just like a muscle that you're building and the more you do it the easier it gets and I know for a fact that it is hard for my dad to let go of things but he gets better and better every time we do the garage decluttering videos. I can touch the wall. Old stove. We got to the corner. Couple of stuff there. And there's the door. I 
che non sta accendendo. All the stuff we have out right now. Back on top of the car. Have such a mess everywhere. Got a trash can for stuff to recycle. Front yard is also filled with stuff. I don't know what time we started, but we've been at it for a while now and everything is everywhere it is crazy mess but just like always progress is progress we have reached the door ah. and there's more stuff over here Oh man, look at this door. Hasn't been open in 22 years. So right now I have my trunk full of stuff that we are going to donate. I'm gonna see if I can donate this today. What I'm finding is that a lot of the stuff that we have found is not donatable. It's either going to the dump or recycle. And right now, out of everything that we've done so far, this is, I think, everything that is donatable. So I'm gonna see if there's a few more things that I can grab so I can fill up my car. So after a few hours later, we started putting stuff back into the garage that we are going to keep and trying to best organize it as we can. There are a few furniture pieces that are in the garage still taking up a lot of space which are eventually going to go. For example, this couch that is sitting here belongs to a couch that is inside the house, but there's no room for it. And I tried to see if we could, you know, donate it or let it go. My dad wanted to keep it at least for a while. Things like the mattresses and the stove and other appliances that are taking up a lot of space are also going to go, but just not today. So that's going to be another day where those are going to go. And I can't wait for that because that's going to free up even more space so we can get to more organizing. Okay, so here's an update. We ended up moving some of our Christmas stuff over here so they're all together. There are some suitcases. There is the chair that I guess they want to keep. Not sure what I want to do with these VHS movies. These are all mine, but I don't know what to do. I have definitely a sentimental attachment to those. So this is all the trash that we are taking to the landfill. We got like the whole front yard with trash and this trash can here full of stuff and then more stuff over here and more trash so you could say that we got rid of a lot of stuff in there that was just junk well i'm exhausted it is about 5 30 in the afternoon and I don't really remember what time we started. I wasn't really keeping track, but needless to say, it was like five hours at least of work being done in the garage today. It was really awesome to finally get to the corner of the garage and especially be able to open the door on the side that leads to the side yard because we have not been able to open that door in 20 years. So the fact that we were finally able to do that and even get to the stuff that was back there that we didn't know what was sitting back there all this time was really awesome to finally go through and see. So after all of that, it looks like a lot of the stuff went to the landfill. That's gonna go out tomorrow because it's a little late today to do that. They're closed. 
and then i did have a couple of stuff that fit in my trunk that i'm going to donate that is still in pretty good shape so i'm going to donate those so that's going to the thrift store tomorrow and i've also set aside some stuff for my local buy nothing group hoping to give some stuff to them as well so out of all the episodes of this hoarder garage declutter video i feel like this one was probably my favorite one because we were able to walk through a whole different side of the garage that we haven't been able to do in many years and that was finally possible today especially because that car is gone well it's not gone it's on the driveway but you know what i mean <laughs> If for whatever reason you have missed out on this whole Hoarder Garage Declutter series, I will leave a link to the playlist link down below so you guys can check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave a thumbs up. It really supports my channel and helps other people see this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also check out the playlist if you want to see more of the series on the Garage Declutter. Now it's time for me to go home, relax, and maybe have a glass of wine or two because I need it after all that. Bye guys.